it'll be a lot of fun. But let's get in. Let's wrap this thing up with a little bit of a draft. So I'm going to need your help, Doc, because I am uh, I'm learning this stuff. So we want okay. the Cowboys. We did this with Knicks. Let's see if ours came out. I, I thought it was effective, but we, okay. we, we addressed some concerns. So what are you thinking as far as public versus the PFF board? What do you, where, do, where do you slide that? I normally just leave it regular. Leave it. Yes, okay. I normally don't touch the settings, but if you want to crank it up just to throw things off with the PFF board a little bit, I'll throw it a couple just for fun. Yeah, a couple of notches. Yeah. There you go. And then we'll enter this draft and let's start it up as I'm looking at it. And all so, right. that, that can you see it good? Yeah, I can see it. We're good. Okay. We're good. All right. So, you, you know, and, and people in the chat definitely would love your opinion, but we've got, uh, we got the center that's out there, right? You got mm -hmm. the linebacker. I know you 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 liked uh, Peyton Wilson. Mm -hmm. um, you got the tackle from Oklahoma. What do you what what are you thinking at this point, being the draft wizard that you are? Yeah, so it's got a lot of good options. Now, me personally, I would try to trade back and get more value, but we're, we're probably going to run through it raw. Yeah. Um, I would say me the pick would be Jackson Powers Johnson, right? Because he gives you the biggest opportunity at center. I know they like Brock Hoffman, but I feel like Jackson Power Johnson is an upgrade over Hoffman. I do love Peyton Wilson. I feel like if you're wanting instant impact that you can feel, Peyton Wilson is definitely that guy. He's going to be a high motor guy. He's going to be all over the field. He's going to be a tackling machine. The question with him is just the injuries. He's had some shoulder injuries, possible missing an ACL attendant in his knee, just things like that. But if you're looking at the pound for pound best football players on the board right now, it's actually Peyton Wilson um brian thomas jr and not actually tyler newbin but we wouldn't draft the safety so for me going with the pick i would stick and pick with the center jackson powers johnson get better than interior because like i said we're going to be playing interior guys with the san francisco 49ers and ravens gotta get that center ironed out so i would go with jackson powers yeah and and i think a lot of people underestimate and i don't know if this guy will be that but you know the loss of travis frederick at center and i think the eagles might get a taste of it uh, next right. year with, with Kelsey gone. Uh, getting a, you know, getting that guy. I mean, a lot of people talked about the great wall. And if you talk to a lot of them, they, you know, they always center around uh, Stepnoski and mm -hmm. he was, you know, basically the quarterback of that line and doing right. the calls and doing everything. So I, you know, I'd agree at that point it's there. Now we're in the second round. Now I'm looking at some interesting, maybe an interesting player that's, that's sitting there and, um, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, we see the top teams. We may want to outscore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is where it gets a little fun, right? Because you're looking at Disa Isaac, uh, phenomenal edge rusher out there. I think the tr hard part for me, right? Dan Quinn was that good friend. He always knew his type when he went to the bar. So I know exactly what he liked. I don't know what Zimmer's actually looking for, you know, so. Um, I probably wouldn't go Isaac, but now you're looking at an innocent playmaker and you have two sitting right there with Keon Coleman, but also Jalen Polk, both phenomenal wide receivers. Uh, both your guys again play on the boundary. You replace Michael Gallup, Keon Coleman. Y'all knows a no big catch radius. Mr. Go up and get it. There's no ball. He really can't catch Jalen Polk. Lufkin, Texas, Des Bryant 2.0. He doesn't play like Des, right? But he's from Lufkin, Texas. A guy that has speed that can go up and get it as well. But then also, if you scroll down, you're looking at your high impact linebacker and edger and Cooper, who I think yeah. is your complete game wrecker. For me, the biggest need and I think the best value would be edger and Cooper. So I would go with edger and Cooper, the linebacker, even though the wide receivers are fun and sexy right now. I personally don't feel like if you get a wide receiver, you have CeeDee Lamb, right? Then your next targets are probably going to be Brendan Cooks. Then you have Jake Ferguson. How much value are you going to get this year from wide receiver, let's say three or four, right? So for me, I'm looking for a guy that can come out in the field and have innocent impact, and that would be Edron Cooper. So I would go with Edron Cooper right here at pick number two. Wow. Passing up. My son is is beside himself right there, and he's a hurricane. He said, uh, yeah. It would be fun. It would, it would be fun. Game. Now, 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 here's the thing, right? You could just go with Keon Coleman and get the wide receiver and just throw the ball 40 times and just hope to outscore people and that that catches fire, you know? But I just feel like defensively, like you said, you know, Edron Cooper's a little bit overshown this, but the speed of our linebacker core gets revved up. And I'm not trusting Damone Clark. You know, like, I just need more actual linebackers. I'm going with Edron Cooper. All right, well, a lot of chat agree. Only my son disagrees. <laughs> 
So, but don't so worry, Mike. We, we, we about to, don't worry, Mike. We about to turn around and get the Noel right here. So my next pick would be Trey Vincent. Now that we improve our running game right here, so I would go with Trey Vincent. Uh, all the things I said about him earlier, good balance running back. If he's sitting in the third, you grab him and you don't think twice because you can arguably get the best running back in the draft sitting right there. So I'm going with Trey Benson. That might be my pick. If I was going outside of the scope, I would look at Melikai Corley. And there's a lot of talks about the Cowboys in him, wide receiver, but he's kind of like your yak guy, kind of like your Debo Samuel, you know, running back slash, you know, underneath guy. Yeah. I think we kind of have that. So I would go with Trey Benson right here easily with this pick. Yeah, that's right. Do you think Trey Benson, you, I mean, you feel like he will be here in the third round? Because uh, I know we talked a little bit about running back and there's going to be some surprises. I mean, he's a, he's a, I mean, I saw what he did to Miami. So I got to oh, respect yeah. the guy. You know? I mean, you've seen him up close and personal a few yeah. times. I would be shocked, honestly, if Trey Benson sitting in the third round. Like, this is a hell of a steal. This is like, finding a ps5 is sitting down the street still in the box in the wrapper so uh, i would go with trey benson right there uh and that's where i don't like where i was saying with the cowboys and the running back is do you are they to a point where they're gonna have to maybe i don't want to say reach but they're gonna they, they can't wait too long would you say third round is about as far as you'd want to go because I, I know what you're saying. You got some other guys there. And, and if I'm wrong, then just say, hey, I disagree with you. Don't worry, Mike. If we get a running back in this draft, we're going to be fine. But I just think running back is such an important position on, on this offense that uh, I, I think it was an Achilles heel, heel last year. Yeah, because as you see, once you click that button, you see how many picks just skip by before we got another one, right? Because yeah. we don't have a fourth round pick because we Jerry gave it away for a random quarterback, right? So I think just with that hole, if we're not going to go and get a, a fourth round pick, then you're going to have to grab one of the core three guys that's sitting right there. When I said like a Jalen Wright or uh Brooks or a Benson. So if you don't get one of those guys, then yeah, I would probably hold off. But if they're sitting right there on the board at the third round, whether it's Brooks, Benson or Wright, you grab them and you don't think twice. Yeah, yeah. So now it gets interesting because you got your, you know, we, we don't get we don't get the uh the fourth round. So now you you know, my son loves Milton mm -hmm. and he thinks he's worth taking, but I don't I'm I'm with you. I don't think I draft a quarterback. I think if I draft a quarterback, I'd take one in the seventh and 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 um Malik kind of got me sold on on the on the Notre Dame guy is he seems to be singing in the seventh, but I don't know. But um you got McCaffrey, which, you know, the bloodline, if you wanted yeah. to do that. But, I mean, what position – we we didn't really get a defensive interior guy, right? Yeah, uh, so that's where I'm looking right now. So I look at the defensive interior. Um, so you had Miles Murphy. You have Juwan Briggs, Jordan Jefferson. So Miles Murphy is kind of your versatile uh, three-tech guy that can play in and out, um, you know, one or also on the, on the three as well. Jordan Jefferson is kind of your bigger run stopper to kind of fill that void. So you get that there. And also with Jerron Briggs, kind of your three tech. So, yeah, it's Leonard Taylor, Taylor there. I think Leonard Taylor's going, y'all. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, man, he's um, Miami. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, and that's right. what I say. You got to get some Miami guys on this team. And I, I think yeah. that's like your biggest problem. Yeah, I know. You need Florida State. So, uh, yeah, so for me personally, I would probably consider going inside defensive tackle. I would probably consider Miles Murphy here. I feel like he's the best prospect. Also, you got Jordan Jefferson. Um, but we look at the yeah. total board. Let me see what else yeah. is available. You got corner, um, but you got, uh, I don't know, uh, McLaughlin that well. but Yeah, corner. Oh, another like, no. We, another tight end. Yeah. We could always use another tight end. I mean, I, I like Jaheim Bell, honestly, I you know, because he can do a lot of different things. He's extremely versatile. Uh, Luke McCaffrey, you got Briggs. Yeah, I would probably... For me personally, I would go with either Murphy or I would go with Jordan Jefferson, but I would go with Miles Murphy out of uh, North Carolina. All right, man, we got we're getting the scene now. We're 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 fixing the, the Cowboys' problems in yeah. like five minutes, man. It's yeah, like that hard. yeah. Jerry, it's and I, I'll do it. You know, we, we'll do it for free. I don't know if Tuck will do it for free. But <laughs> yeah, I'll do it for free. <laughs> uh, so so um so yeah. So now we're sitting here. Now, me personally, I love Dequan Hardy, uh, cornerback out of Penn State. Yeah. I kind of, kind of call him like my uh, all these version of Asante Samuel. Um, he's short, though, and I know the Cowboys have that height requirement rule. But another sneaky uh, wide receiver right there is Jordan Winnington out of Texas. So he can be your bigger guy. And I think he kind of just got 
left in the shadows of what they had with Worthy and also a uh, Mitchell. But good quality guy, big physical, has good hands. So it's a good quality uh, wide receiver if you want to go that route. Um, scroll down just a tad bit more. Let's see. Um, I love Isaiah Davis running back, but since we already drafted one, I wouldn't probably double dip yet. Um, let's see here. Scroll down just a tad bit for me. Let's see. Because so I want to look at tackles. Let's see if there's any sleeper tackles left. Because they're well, probably that from you. I said, let me go up and we'll just isolate on that one because we didn't really grab one, right? Yeah, didn't grab uh, one. So this would be probably our kick Tyler Smith out to the outside. Um, I, and think about that line real quick. And and, and again, I maybe I'm the delusional one. I don't know if the line, if they put Tyler out to left tackle, and 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 you had and you had uh, uh, Bass and Hoffman. Obviously, Martin Steele to me is the one who he's kind of the wild card. Mm -hmm. it, it, are you is that a is that a line in shambles, or do you think that can be a solid offensive line? Because I don't know if it that, uh, the Great Wall didn't win a Super Bowl and didn't get us there. I don't know if we didn't necessarily need the uh, you know this unbelievable offensive line, but do you think that offensive line could be solid enough to deliver? Or no? Yeah, I think they can be solid enough to deliver, right? It just all depends on the left guard spot, right? Is TJ Bass who we think he is? Or, you know, does things change when he gets revved up and have to play a full 17-game season? Now, me personally, Cowboys Nation, what y'all need to prepare yourselves for is kicking Tyler Smith to left tackle and plugging Chuma in at left guard, which can kind of be kind of scary. So, you know, overall, I think the line is good enough, but, you know, we never prepare for injuries. That's my biggest frustration. No, the depth of, that's the problem. Yeah. So, so yeah. if one of those guys goes down, then it gets kind of dark. So me personally, I would leave these offensive tackles alone. You know, you could probably get Brandon Coleman out of TCU, but he's just another rich, rotational guy. You already yeah. have those in awesome Richards and the list goes on and on. So I would avoid tackle at this point. Um, scroll down for me slightly. We're at pick 216. You have safeties, which is a lot of decent. Oh, Trey Taylor, I saw Trey Taylor. Out yeah, of Trey Taylor out of Air Force. You have AJ Woods. You know what? Um, you know what? I'm not going to do what the Cowboys are going to do. I'm going to do what I would do. I would go yeah. get Daquan. I'm going to go get Daquan Hardy. Um, was he sitting there in the cornerback? Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. I'm going to go get Daquan Hardy, man. Because I'm not. Hey, they didn't want to draft uh, your guy from Florida State. You know? Yeah, yeah. He's 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 in that way it gives you the flexibility with Deron Bland if you don't resign uh gil morgan kick him out to the outside yeah. all right so now we're sitting so this pick i would probably scroll down and i think this guy will he be here at this pick probably not um but it's going to be trevin wallace um out of kentucky linebacker. he is, yeah he's a linebacker but he's just a live wire extremely athletic downhill guy i think he's a 30 yeah, he's a 30 visit for the cowboys also had a formal the thing about him is just like he just needs to slow down a little bit when you look at just pure athleticism talent silent and silent it's all there he's a mold of clay it just needs to be put together so i don't think he's going to be sitting there this late but i'll definitely pull the trigger on him and then for the last pick um rasheen ali was a running back that i mentioned earlier that you can possibly double dip on um good how solid. big is he about 209 okay yeah 209, but he's built stout, lower body. Um, I love my guy, Kenny Logan Jr. out of Kansas, but like I said, we're kind of full of the safety room, so I would kind of hold off there. Are you happy with the safeties? My son's not happy with the safeties, so I'm just curious. I mean, you're going to have one year Malik probably. Then you have Wanye is going to step up. Yeah. You're also going to have. Um, I think Bell's the wild card, right? Because they had him at linebacker, but yeah, he's I think he goes. So he goes back, and then also it's going to be what Zim's thoughts with uh, Israel Mukwamu, right? So. I think when Israel spoke about it, he wanted to play corner versus. So it's going to be like, it's, it's, you know, I feel like the safety is enough, you know? Um, so scroll down. It's a tad bit for me. Let's see who's there. Jordan he's McGee. From Kansas. Is he any good? He's really good. He's really good, man. I love Kenny Logan, man. He was the anchor. I honestly thought he was going to come out last year. Um, he can play in the box. He can play deep safety as well. Yeah. Um, I would probably look at Cedric Johnson out of Ole Miss or Trajan Jeffco. These are kind of your bigger edge setters. Um, you know, some of you guys that kind of set the edge a little bit, kind of give you some of that Dorrance Armstrong type feel. So I would probably no hear, relation to Jim Jeffcoat, is it? I don't think so. They always get after. I don't. I, from <laughs> where I look, I haven't seen it. 
Um, so I would probably go Cedric Johnson out of Ole Miss here. Just kind of get you some more edge guys that you can toss yeah. into the fire there. So, all right, let's see what they see how much hate we get. Yeah, boo. <laughs> all right, hey, we got to be there. You go. But it's I'm, effective. It's yeah. effective. But I think if it, I, you know, I'm just saying it. I maybe go down to four, but I think if you get if you this top three were to play out. I don't know how uh I don't know how you could be upset. Right. Yeah. I think because you I got mean, that's the three starters, wouldn't you say? Right. You got three instant starters. Miles Murphy will be in rotation. Daquan Hardy will be in rotation. Trevin Wallace will probably be a special teams guy, but eventually he will find his way on the field. And Cedric Johnson will be in rotation just because he's a big, beefier guy. You know, just, just big, you know, so you can just put him out there and do something. So I think overall this is a good solid draft, right? I think he got what we need, but we also got good value. Um, I'm not mad at it at all. You know, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, no, yeah, no, I, I, we will take it now. No, no hurricanes. So that kind of upsets me. I mean, because your other hurricanes are safeties, man. Like, you know, like you got, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if, if you've got, if you've got, uh, uh, Williams, you know, sitting in front of you at some point, or you got kitchens, you wouldn't no no, no interest in getting a safety. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I like kitchens, man. That's the same thing with Tyler Newbin. Like if, if, if I would just go and like, listen, the Cowboys haven't done nothing all off season. I just want to go just game records. Like I feel like Tyler Newbin could be like your Kyle Hamilton of the draft, right? He's a guy yeah. that can play in the box and just wreck a game, but it's like, is how does he fit to our puzzle? And, it's, and it's, that's the hard question mark. Right. Cause like I said, last year, I knew, I knew Dan Quinn's type. I know he likes, you know, like I just knew his size. I knew his, you know, what his thought process was with, with Zimmer, we we saw one interview. It's just like you know, that was it. Yeah, so, yeah, and it's, it's MIA. MIA. Yeah. It's like, it's, so it's like is, is Zimmer even going to get to build his team, or are they going to try to build for next year's 2025's guy? Right. So who who knows? So that's the huge question mark. But overall.